as you can see, we're nearly done, it's just drying, then I'm gonna polish it. Here's a few pictures, but here's my son, he just wants to introduce himself. Hi, I'm Tommy. Right then folks, this is the finished product I think, it's still drying, well it's not still drying, it's just uh, I've wiped it over with some uh, GT85 so it puts a PTFE seal on the blade and everything, with it being uh, carbon steel, I might polish that and I might also up here cut a bottle opener and I've seen them on there and I think that looks quite cool, I might just chop this bit off as well. But when you're cutting things like this off, you have to cut it slowly and make sure it doesn't get too hot, otherwise you'll knock your heat treat. So I'll show it you. So as you can see, it's brought all the different layers out. I wanted it nice and square and a bit like a puko shape. You know, so I can actually use it for a bit of woodwork, bushcraft and stuff like that when I go camping. So there we are, people. Thank you for your time. And I hope you like it. This is just a rough, a rough way of uh, modifying it using simple tools, as I've mentioned previously. It's only really the Dremel that's slightly um, power tool. It's only the, the Dremel, really. And then the rest I did was just sandpaper and all the other simple stuff. Oh, just the finishes. Um, I stained it once with some salad lin. And uh, after that, I've just put two layers of lacquer on it. And then some PTFE GT85 on it, just to seal it all so it doesn't rust. And then as you can see... I'm nearly happy with that now. I like that it's square. And I'm looking forward to definitely putting the bottle opener on here as well. But I don't know whether to video that unless people are interested. And I might just chop this, this off as well. Or I might not. I'll have some thought on it before we finish finish. And I might even try this with the bigger version as well. Which I have ground down to 3 inches. Well 2.9 I think it was. Thanks for your time guys, and see you later.